Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let's sing and praise the Lord today in a very special way for the anointing and the greatest blessing. We need the showers of blessing from above so that we may live a worthy life that is becoming godly. Today, as we are here, we'll praise and sing the Lord together with the choir. Let us sing and praise the Lord for the great anointing and for a blessing from above. Showers of blessings This is the promise of love There shall be seasons refreshing Sent from the Savior above Showers of blessings Showers of blessings we bring Mercy drops countless are falling But for the showers we bring Let's sing together Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops countless are falling, but for the showers we plead. What say? Let us repeat and sing. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings. Showers of up to heaven and praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank hallelujah. You, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, Lord, you, Lord. thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the countless blessings, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly hallelujah. Father. Hallelujah. Thank you for the showers of blessings on our God. life, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your unending mercy on us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Praise and glory, 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 glory. Thank you for all the blessings of Thank you for the countless come blessings down in our life, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your love on our life, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Almighty Father, as we are gathered together once again in, in your name, we ask for your graces. We need the showers of blessing from above. Lord, we are unworthy servants. We are weak and fragile. Oh Lord, it is your grace that has to fill us. It is your grace that has to lead us through the way that we have to tread on. We ask your grace today in a very special way. Let all the participants, although attend this program, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let each and every one of us at this moment who is watching this program, be blessed with a grace upon grace. Mother Mary, we ask your intercession so that we may be filled with your son's graces in abundance. We pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we are going to meditate upon a theme throw off your clothes, throw off your outer garments. If you read Bible, we see there are two people 
who threw off their cloaks or the outer garments. The first one is in the book of Genesis, we see poor father Joseph. We know the story of Joseph. Joseph was sent to exile to Egypt by his brothers. And there, since the God was with him, God raised him up and he became the second ruler in the kingdom of Egypt next to the king Pharaoh. And it is said Joseph was a handsome guy and because of that reason there was a temptation waiting for him. We'll just listen to the reading, a reading from the book of Genesis chapter 39 verses 7 and the following. And after a time, his master's wife cast her eyes on Joseph and said, Lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look with me here. My master has no concern about anything in the house, and he has put everything that he has in my hand. He is not greater in this house than I am, nor has he kept back anything from me except yourself, because you are his wife. How then could I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Dear friends, this is a situation where Joseph had a very strong temptation from his ruler's wife. Joseph was a very handsome person, but the ruler's wife had a bad eye on him and he's, she's inviting this person to commit sin. But Joseph was filled with the spirit of God and he knew what he's doing is right and therefore he said, I will not surrender to your temptation. And the verse 10 says in this way. And although she spoke to Joseph day after day, he would not consent to lie beside her or to be with her. See, there is a situation where Joseph was tempted every day, day by day, whenever the lady comes in uh, face to face with Joseph, she tempts him or, or asks him to go and sleep with this lady. But he was not at all succumbing or he was not at all ready to uh, accept her temptation. And thus, he was just getting away from her. And one, one day it happened. In the verse, of, verse 11, we see what happened. We'll listen to that. One day, however, when he went into the house to do his work, and while no one else was in the house, she caught hold of his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, this was the most dangerous situation when there was no one around him and there was nobody. This particular lady just caught hold of his outer garment and what this man did, he just threw away his outer garment or his cloak and he ran away from, for his life. This is the first incident in the Bible where we see a person throwing away or throwing off his outer garments. The next incident we see in the book of uh, in the New Testament, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10. There we see, everybody knows the story of Bartimaeus, a person who was, very, who was blind from the beginning. And this blind, was, blind man was waiting and just on the road said, asking for arms. At that moment, we see Jesus is coming together with a big crowd. And hearing the noise, he just exclaimed and asked the passers-by, what is the sound I'm hearing? A big noise is coming. Is a big leader coming? Or what is going to happen? Then the people told him, you didn't know about these things? A person called Jesus, he's from Nazareth and he's doing wonderful deeds. Then the other day, he covered tons of lepers. The last day, last week, he went to a 
house of Lazarus and he rose the Lazarus from the dead after three days of his death. And so many wonderful things are being done by Jesus and people say that he may be a prophet or maybe a son of God. And today the crowd is after him and he is just coming. This is what the answer was told to him. Therefore, what happened? This man who was blind, born blind, he just started to cry out his, cry out, cry out. Till that moment, he was just asking for arms, give me something to eat or give me some money. But now the whole, his prayer was changed. He started to cry out, Oh, son of God, oh, son of David, Jesus, have mercy on me. And when Jesus heard this man crying out, though the people who were surrounding, some said, don't shout, God is go the Lord is passing by. But he was crying out in loud voice. Hearing this voice, Jesus just stood there and he's asking this man to come. And somebody told him, the guru, is the, the Jesus is calling you, the Lord is calling you. Immediately what he did in the gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10, verse 50, the word of God says, And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. He threw off his cloak and sprang and just went near to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, now we see two people, they throw off their cloaks for two different reasons. First person, first part, in the first sight, in the first incident, we see Joseph, he is throwing his clock in order to save his soul or in order to save himself from being, uh, falling into sin. While this man, Bertimius, what he does, he throw off his, he threw off his uh, clock because he wanted to get something greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does it mean? Any deed or sacrifice a person does in order either, either to protect something precious or to own something more precious than what he has is called a, 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 a throwing of the clock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I repeat, a person or a deed or a sacrifice a person does either to protect something precious of his own or to save or to gain something more than what he has. Any sacrifice or deed he does is a, an outer garment. It is the throwing of the clock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now today, when I say this point to you, dear brothers and sisters, now let us recall into our mind, our own lives. In order to gain Jesus, are we ready to do any sacrifices? Only those people who know the value of the things that you are going to gain, they will be able to make the sacrifices. Unless and until you understand the value of what you are going to gain, you will never be able to make any sacrifice in your lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, we see in the chapter 13, 44 to 47, Jesus narrates three parables. In the three parables, the first parable, Jesus says, a person, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. A merchant, a person or a, a person who finds a treasure in some place. And he knew that this is a big treasure. If he knows that this is a big treasure, he's ready to sell out whatever he has in order to own this treasure. In the second parable, again Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of a, a, a precious pearls. A merchant goes out in search of precious pearls and if he happens to get a pearl, 
which he feels that, the, that is a very much valuable, is ready to sell whatever he has in order to gain this pearl. Hallelujah. 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 In the third parable, Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is just like a net that is just put in the sea. So many uh, fishes get in, but take the, the fisherman takes the best one among, from the net. So in the very same manner, if we know what is heaven and what is the kingdom of heaven that is to that we God has promised for us, if we keep his commandments and his laws and statutes, then only we will be able to make changes or we will be able to throw away certain things from our lives. Maybe our bad inclinations or maybe our tendency to sin or maybe some bad friendships or maybe some relationships whatever may be a hindrance in order to gain God in order to reach God we should throw off hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 most of the people most of you must have heard about a small creature called lizard or some of you must have seen this is a small creature lizard it has got a special um, speciality that's what we see the speciality is that in case of any danger the lizard by itself sheds its tail off as a result what happened the enemy is attracted to the the shaking uh, tail which is already thrown off and while the the attention is diverted the um, lizard the small creature runs away what does it mean Dear friends, you know, lizard knows its tail is important for, that, for it. But the life is more important than this tail. Therefore, it is ready to throw off the tail so that it can gain or it can save its life. This we know in our day-to-day -day life it happens too. Suppose a person who is uh, having so much of um, uh, sickness, maybe... God, uh, the doctor suggests him to ampute one of his fingers. And he, the person knows by amputing the finger, it is going to be a loss for him. But in order to save the whole body, he is ready to do this amputation because he wants to save his life. In this very same manner, my dear friends, if we want to reach heaven, we may, be, we may have to throw off certain things from our lives. It is very difficult, of course. But if we know what we are going to gain is more important than what we are going to lose, we have to, we have to be ready for that. Hallelujah. 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 That is why only those people who have got this knowledge about the value of heaven and the kingdom of heaven that is to be received by a person who lives a holy life he will be able to or she will be able to do the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember another incident which uh, happened in one of my um, neighboring parishes. There was a marriage party. The party was going in a bus. And while going, it happened that the, 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 there was an accident and this bus fell into a lake, small lake. And what happened, you know? And as the, uh, the bus fell into the lake, people around surroundings, they came and saved them. But finally, one person was missing. And you know, people were, uh, the police, uh, fire force came and they were rescued. Uh, they were coming and in search of this, uh, this person. And finally, they found him. He was just holding on to a bag which was full of money. He was the person who was to give a lot of money to the, uh, some other people and he was taking it to the bank, I hope, to deposit in his bank. And what happened? He was just holding on to this suitcase where the money was kept. As a result, though everybody came out of the water, this man could not come out because he was just catching hold of this bag. And today, my dear friends, you and me sometimes catch hold on certain things which we are not ready to leave. And because of that reason, we will never be able to reach heaven. Hallelujah. 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 That's why certain pleasures of this world, you have to throw away so that you can live a holy life. St. Paul, when he knew about this,
he speaks in this way speaks in the first letter of Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 Saint Paul says in this way for the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God hallelujah, hallelujah. to the people of this world who, who think eat drink and make merry tomorrow you die for them the way of the cross is folly it is foolishness but the, those people when they see people praying they what are they doing why are they praying is there any need of prayer this life is over in this world eat drink make merry and that is the tendency of many of the people but all those people who comes to know about God who knows there is another life after death only those people can live for that life hallelujah, hallelujah. and Saint Paul once again in the letter to Philippines chapter 3 verse 8 he when he became aware of this knowledge he says in this way more than that I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ hallelujah, hallelujah. see how clearly Saint Paul says when I came to know about the value of Christ I am I'm ready to throw away whatever I had and I come I count everything as a rubbish because I know the God in whom I put my trust is more valuable than all these worldly pleasures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, today as we hear this word of God, let us be ready to make a change in our lives. Let us be ready to uh, make a difference in our lives. There are certain areas where we have to make it amendment in our life. There are certain things, some inful in inclinations we have to get, throw away if then only we will be able to reach heaven so that we may become the real sons and children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please stand up for a moment. Let us pray to the Lord. This is the time. Lord, we have our own weaknesses. We have our own sinful tendencies. There are certain things which we find it very difficult to throw away. Maybe my desire to uh, eat and drink or maybe my desire for money or wealth, amazing wealth, or maybe certain friendships, either to people or things, or some slavery, or some addiction to certain things. Lord, these are the different clocks or the outer garments that I have to throw away. Then only I will be able to be a child of God. Let us raise the hands up to heaven and praise and thank the Lord. Lord, send Spirit, your Holy Spirit so that I may become a changed person, a transformed person. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh Lord, change my heart, oh Lord. Change my heart, oh Let's sing together. Change my heart, Lord. Change my heart, Lord. Make it ever new. Change my heart, O God. Oh Jesus, may I be like you. Lord, we surrender ourselves totally and fully to you us to throw away certain things that are a hindrances to reach heaven. Our oh Lord be with us and guide us. Amen. Amen. Amen.
brothers and sisters today as we are just in front of Jesus Jesus is looking into the hearts and of each and every one of us he is telling to you there are certain things that you have to shed off if you have to gain me if you want a real presence of my, me you have to throw away certain sinful inclinations you have to put off your old self and you have to put on the new self that is me and today let us give a promise to the Lord Jesus Lord I need you more I need you more and more I am ready to put off my sinful inclinations my bad habits certain relations to people and places and things today I'm going to live just to gain you yes Lord I understand the value of yours a oh, Lord help and bless me dear friends now as we receive the benediction and blessings of Jesus let us take a decision to put off our sinful tendencies let us open our arms hands before the Lord and receive the blessings hallelujah 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 Lord thank you Jesus praise you Jesus Lord give us a new heart give us a new heart give us more love for you hallelujah 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 jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus in jesus name let all the bad implications go in jesus name let there be deliverance from all the sins hallelujah O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Thanksgiving.